Hello future data scientists. Welcome back to IIT MBS Data Science YouTube channel. Your go-to channel for all things related to data science, programming and academic pursuits. Today, we are here to address the most common questions and doubts you might have about our esteemed data science program, the registration process and everything in between. Before we dive into the details, we need to extend our heartfelt gratitude to all our subscribers and viewers for your incredible support. Your enthusiasm for data science and passion for learning have motivated us to create more exciting content and experience for you. Our aim is to equip you with all the information you need to make the right decision and embark on a fulfilling data science journey. We want to help you understand the program thoroughly, clarify any doubts you may have and provide essential insights to boost your chances of securing a spot in IITM data science faculty. So if you are ready to embark on a transformative journey that will shape your future and open doors to exciting career opportunities, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update from IIT MBS Data Science. Stay tuned and let's dive into the world of data science together. So let's get started. What you are seeing on the screen right now is the registration schedule for BS Data Science released by IITM for the May and September term. However, on the contrary, they are not quite following it, so ignore it. As many of you know, qualifier results have already been declared and the course registration for the May term and also the registration for the re-attempt have already been started. Now let's address the most common doubts faced by students. Course registration form to enroll into foundation level is currently live and will close on 21st July at 5 p.m. And those who didn't clear their exam can re-attempt by applying for re-attempt qualifier by paying a partial fees of 1500. Re-attempt form will also be open from 20 to 21st July 5 pm. The students who are absent for 16 July qualifier can also apply for the re-attempt with partial payment. Those students who wish to defer the course registration for the September or Jan 2024 term can ignore these registrations. There is no separate process for the deferment. You can directly make the registration while the registration tab is enabled for the September or Jan 2024 term, but you have to start submitting the assignments from week 1. Another doubt that arises in the student's mind is for how much time the qualifier score is valid. And the answer is your score is valid for two terms, three to be precise, May 2023, September 2023 and Jan 2024. After this, your score will be null and void. You have to re-register for the qualifier process entirely again, submit all the assignments from week 1 and give the qualifier exam. You can register for the May term by clicking on the course registration tab which is available under my dashboard. Or you can apply for the re-attempt. The re-attempt tab will also be available under my dashboard. Another question is, what we have to do next? Either we have qualified or not. And who have to submit graded assignment onward week 5? For those who have passed the qualifier, the course registration tab will be available to enroll into Gen term. You can submit the assignments from week 5 before the deadline only for the subjects that you choose during course registration. For the students who are either failed or absent in the qualifier, they have two options. First, fill the re-attempt form, give the exam on 6th of August and if you qualify, register for the September term. Or, if you missed the registration, then you can apply for the next qualifier, September 2023. But you have to submit the assignments from week 1 and secure a minimum requirement to be eligible for the qualifier. Reapply option will be available after 23rd July. Those students who are not eligible to write qualifier exam have also the same option. They can reapply for the September term. They have to give all assignments again from week 1 and secure a minimum grade to be eligible for the qualifier. Again, no need to submit assignments again for students who will re-attempt. They can directly write the qualifier exam on August 6, 2023 and enroll in the foundation in September term. Assignment submission is not mandatory from week 5 for the students who will apply for the next qualifier batch. Week 5 assignment submission is applicable only for the students who will enroll in the foundation in the May 2023 term. Another doubt is, what if you have failed in one or two subjects? Do you have to give exam for all the four courses or you have to attempt only those in which you have failed? The answer is 
IIT Madras will conduct exam for all the four courses, but you can attempt only those which you have failed in the 16th July qualifier. Or you can attempt all the four courses again. The best scores among both the attempt will be considered for each course individually. Moving to our next doubt. Who have to give quiz to that is on 6th of August? So the answer is, for those who have not qualified, it is referred to as a re-attempt exam. And for those who have qualified, it is referred to as quiz 2. It is somehow mandatory as it will be considered for assessment of the course. And if you miss the quiz 2, you will end up losing some marks. But you will still be eligible to write the NSEM exams. As far as assessment is concerned, your NSEM scores will be based on three things. First, the credit assignment score. Second, the scores of the two quizzes. And third, the NSEM exam itself. And in case you miss any of these, you will end up losing the credit score required for the assessment. Now, let's move to the course fee structure. The course fee for foundation level course is 32,000 in total for two terms, 4,000 for each subject. You will only have to pay the fees for the courses that you register. For example, if you register for one course, you only have to pay 4,000. If you register for two, you will have to pay 8,000. Moving forward to the fee behavior scheme, there are three options available. First, if your family income is greater than 5 lakh per annum, you are not eligible for any fee behavior and you will have to pay the full fees, that is 32,000, 4,000 per subject. Second option is, if your family income lies between 5 lakh per annum to 1 lakh per annum, you are eligible for 50% fee behavior and you have to pay half of the fees, that is 16,000 and 2,000 per subject. For example, if you register for only two courses this semester, you will only have to pay 4,000. The third option is, if you belong to the economic weaker section, EWS, and your family income lies below 1 lakh per annum, you are eligible for 75% fee waiver. That is, you will only have to pay 8,000, that is 1,000 per subject. For example, if you register for only two courses this term, you will only have to pay 2,000 rupees. To avail the fee waiver scheme, you have to provide required documents such as EWS certificate and income certificate. And these documents will be verified by the IIT Madras team. So don't try to act smart or you will be disqualified from the registration process and certain legal actions can be taken against you. Moving forward to the different subject combination you can choose for this term. It basically depends on your qualifier score. If your score is below 50%, you are eligible for only two subjects. If your score is between 50% to 70%, you are eligible to apply for three subjects. And if your score is above 70%, you are eligible to apply for all the four subjects in this term. On the screen, you can see different options that you can choose based on your available time and your score. But before choosing the subject, you have to keep in mind the following aspects. Some courses as other courses as prerequisites. Those can be done only after completing prerequisite. For example, if you do maths, CT and English, you can do the rest in any order. For stats 2, you need to study maths 2 and stats 1 with or before it. You can't do statistics 2 before mathematics 2. Also, stats 1 and mathematics 1 should be completed before statistics 2. Computational thinking should be done before Python, English 1 before English 2. So you don't need to finish all 4 first. You can finish 3. For example, English 1, Maths 1 and Computational Thinking and next term you can take Python, English 2 and Stats 1 since Python has only Computational Thinking needed before it. Another question that arises is, what happens if we skip a subject for the next term? The answer is, you will have to submit daily assignments starting from week 1 again for that subject. So you have to keep these things in mind before choosing your subject combinations. So that's all for today's video. I tried to address all the doubts concerning your course. If you have any further queries, you can ask in comment or email at support at the rate online degree dot iitm dot ac dot in. Thank you for joining us and remember your dreams in data science are just a click away.